Winter is coming. The Kilima. Soon we'll start to see heaps of fluffy snow all around Kilima Village. Time to get into that holiday spirit. We'll also be learning more about Winter Lights, a Majiri celebration that brings light to the darkest days of the year and shares that light with family, friends, and community. According to the senior narrative designer, players can expect a special interaction with your Shep if you've chosen one, and lots of fun new decor inspired by various traditions relevant to the winter season. Learn more about what ancient humans celebrated, what the Majiri and Grimmel can celebrate now, and maybe create some new traditions of your own. To help bridge some of the human traditions with the Majiri Winter Lights ceremonies, the villagers will provide you with a tree to decorate. You'll be able to discover decorations for your tree, as well as your home, all around Kilima Village and Bahari Bay through treasure chests, fishing, and more. However, being able to place decoration on your fireplace is not yet a feature. It does seem it's planned though. It wouldn't be winter without snowball fights. You'll be able to purchase snowballs with gold at a seasonal register found just behind Jell's shop. You can sneak up on your fellow players with a fluffy surprise that sparkles upon impact. We also got a sneak peek at the next temple, the Temple of Gales. Instead of looking inward, we'll be looking upwards. The Temple of Gales is a new and exciting area in Palia that offers a mix of challenging puzzles, intriguing mysteries, and deeper insight into ancient human history. Like in other temples, you'll team up with a couple of villagers to help you solve the mysteries. This collaboration is not just about puzzle solving, it's also a chance to help the players learn more about Calorie and Eloise's past, and hopefully get them to grow closer as sisters. We also got some status updates on previously mentioned features as well as bugs. Pouches, a feature mentioned in the dev update in September to help clear up more inventory space, still needs a lot more work for it to be in a fun and consistent state for players across all platforms. As such, it has unfortunately been postponed till early next year. Accomplishments, which have been bugged for a while now, will be getting some improvements in the next patch. These fixes will be targeting two specific issues, not getting credit for completing accomplishments and not getting rewards for completing accomplishments. Players who found themselves stuck with these issues should now be able to move forward with completing these accomplishments. However, due to the complicated nature of this issue, some players may find they need to complete a previously bugged accomplishment again. They said these fixes don't cover every issue with accomplishments, however, they should present a far more reliable experience. Subira's quest line. There's a bug with the quest line where players are unable to progress after telling Eshe they aren't quite ready to meet Subira. This will be fixed in patch 0.175. Now that might sound like it's a ways out, but Subira's quest line will be around for several months, so you won't miss out on completing it. For those of you who haven't gotten to this point in the quest line, keep that in mind. Controller support has been getting some love recently, and that isn't stopping. We'll be seeing some more improvements in the next update. The emote wheel will be given a new coat of paint, increasing the number of slots while also making Unequip more accessible to all players. They'll also be updating the current bindings for controllers. They said a significant amount of thought and iteration has gone into these changes, and though this will require some adjustment, we don't plan on making changes after this. Controller players will also be getting camera assist, this is a new optional feature that reduces the need to manage your camera while moving left or right. Controller support is just one of the many accessibility options asked for playing Pally, and we will continue to support and expand those options in 2024. That does conclude this dev update. Singularity 6 will be taking a well-deserved break next month, so there won't be a dev update for December, but I'm sure we'll still hear plenty from them. Tell me what you're most excited for in the comments, and as always, I'll see you around in Palia.